younger adults are experiencing a phenomenon known as money dysmorphia. Mm, what is that you say? Financial instructor Michael Mazaran from the Retirement Education Foundation joins us to talk about money dysmorphia, how to overcome it, and maybe this isn't just something with young adults. But explain to us, how, what is money dysmorphia? So it really comes down to people looking around at friends and family in their lives, and they might see people taking vacations or buying homes or starting families and thinking, well, I'm not in a position to do any of those things, and what am I doing wrong here? If, if everyone else seems like they're doing so well and they're traveling and buying the car, buying the house, starting a family, and I'm not doing that, and I can't afford to be doing those things, what am I doing wrong? And a lot of, that, a lot of those feelings lead to insecurity, and that may feel that may lead to someone just saying, you know what, I'm not going to save anymore. I'm just going to keep up with my friends, go on the vacations, buy the car. And they start to make some really poor choices out of feeling like they're out of insecurity. Yeah, the the spending I find in my um, you know view from looking at these different age, young adult <coughs> age groups is that they, they, you don't realize go, buying the coffee, the fancy coffee every day, getting the nails, it doesn't, nothing seems like real expensive, but you take those costs, which may be 10, 20 bucks a week, 30 bucks a week, and add that up, and that's money you're not investing, and and that can eventually turn into big money. But it, but it that's really very can. hard to translate. And also, you know, especially with social, you, you were talking earlier about social media and the phones and everything. People see their friends and family on these vacations, thinking, "Oh my gosh, how are they doing this?" Well, a lot of the times, the answer is they're putting on credit cards. They can't afford those vacations either, but they're making poor choices, putting vacations yeah. on credit cards and racking up credit card debt. Mm. And so, trying to avoid those things, trying to avoid the immediate gratification of buying that thing or taking that vacation because if we can think more long term of, okay, what if I start racking up this debt, if I'm not saving, it's a lot of fun right now. But long term, what is that going to do to me? And that's the, that's the person who wakes up when they're 45 or 50 and they're behind, they're behind the eight ball on retirement savings and they're in a lot of trouble. So it's not fun to tell your friends, nope, count me out for this vacation. I'm trying to save for something coming up down the road here. That's not a fun thing to do, but it's the responsible thing to do. So what do you tell people to do? If you feel like you're in a financial hole, it can feel very paralyzing, mm -hmm. but you have to start somewhere. You do. And I mean, for a lot of people, it's just starting put pen on paper, start mm -hmm. writing some numbers down. I have this much coming in or use Excel. I'm a nerd, I like Excel. I have all these spreadsheets. Um, so I have this much coming in. I spend this much on these categories. And a lot of people don't even know where the money's going. Yeah. They have no clue. They just spend, swipe, swipe, swipe this, the credit card or Apple Pay is even easier these days. Mm. And money's just going everywhere and they have no clue. So just getting your arms around how much is coming in, where is it all going, and where can we start to cut down on? There are two, if you seek it out on social media, um, if, if that's your go-to place, there are young adults who have budgets who um, really explain, this is how much money I make, this is my rent, this is my car payment, this is my car insurance, you know, they go through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so you can be influenced in that way as well. For sure. Um, but you're exactly right. The spending, and it's not just... Uh, your friends that are encouraging you to go out and uh, go fancy meals, I mean, fancy drinks, everything is uh, <laughs> seems overpriced, but also these influencers constantly telling you uh, you need a new wardrobe yeah. every day. Always or new, new gadget. Social media. Yeah. For sure. And a lot of people focus on the, the budgeting and the saving, and that's important, don't get me wrong. But we can only budget and cut costs so much. We have to eat, we need to put gas in the car, we need to have car and insurance. A lot of people should be focusing more on increasing their income. Mm. How can I get more certifications? How can I take on more responsibilities at work? How can I talk to my manager or my boss and ask them, look, in the next six months or 12 months, what can I do to increase my income? Because we can only save and cut costs so much. At do some point, we need to start increasing the income. I don't know if people want to work more, though. <laughs> Well, so there's there's to be there's a balance. Like there's there's, there's less a, and get paid more. Yeah. There's a, there's a balance. Some people are okay with a very healthy work life balance, and that might mean not advancing as quickly in your career. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fantastic. But if someone wants to have the flashy car or the big home or the fantastic vacation, that might require more hours at the office. There's no there's no wrong choice. It comes down to what's more important to you. Right. You always think. Get, 
you'll hit it big in some lucky in some lucky way down the line. You know, there's some way I can make this up. It's all, you know, I'll, I'll figure that out so later. So that's, you know, people tell themselves that. And a lot yeah. of the times it's, I mean, some people get lucky. Some people hit the lottery, but very, 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 very few people do. And more often than not, that thinking of I'll figure it out in the future. Yeah. A lot of people don't. So let's figure it out right now. Good advice. For more, look for the links page on fox2detroit.com, and you can connect to Michael's website, which is full of good resources. Good stuff, Michael. Thank you. And uh, exciting time coming up in your life, so we'll be looking for an update. Absolutely. Pretty soon here. All right. Baby on the way. Baby is coming. We'll be right back.